Hey guys, welcome back to another bucket video. Today I'm bringing you a plugin. Um, it is called Essentials, and when people first start uh, making a bucket server, they usually get uh, get hold of some sort of a permission system. And I personally like this one better than the other ones, but um, today we're gonna mainly be focusing on this group manager. Um, part in the essentials bundle um, but there are a lot of other uses that comes with this bundle um, but today I'm only going to be covering group manager I have actually made a video on this um, but uh, just to refresh everything and make the video quality better I'm just gonna do it again so download that um, if you press the link, I will also have the whole bundle um, all in s or all put together into a zip file for you to download in the download link in the description bar. But um, other than that, if you want to come to the forum page yourself, I will have it in the description also. Now you will see Essentials Group, group Bridge and Group Manager. So first of all, you need the Essentials Core. So you also have to download that um, or Essentials. Um, nothing will work basically if you don't have it, have the core. Um, so you have the Essentials, Essentials Chat, Essentials Protect, Essentials Spawn. All of, all of these have different effects. You can. Uh, adjust them basically and open your little bucket folder and you will see the plugins folder click that and we have nothing in it right now excuse me but um we will have something installed so grab and pull your essentials.jar in and pull these two in um yeah so uh, one thing you might want to be on a lookout for or one thing you might want to be careful is that you don't want uh, Essentials Group or Essentials Group Manager with Group Manager. You don't want to have both. They're just the same thing and um, there's really no point on having both. Um, and yeah, so put that into your plugins folder. Just drag these stuff in. And basically, you have it um, installed. Um, so you can either uh, start your server or just right-click, open with Archive Utility. I usually do this. Um, I like this better. And when you click into that, go to your config. Um, well, you don't really need to go to your config, but you can if you want to. Um, and basically, this is the new, newer versions of Group Manager. So you have your groups and your users. These two, uh, you're mainly going to be changing these two. So let me go over the groups.yml. So... Um, there are going to be certain groups, maybe you want to, uh, different groups to have different p permissions. So this is why you have the groups.yml. You can edit their permissions right here. And if you've seen other tutorials, they've taught you to change the groups, change the permission nodes. Um, and the permission nodes are basically the, um, nodes that give the certain group of people certain commands. So... Um, if you go to a link I will provide in the video description below, um, you will see a bunch of permission nodes, um, and I hope that will help you to get started. Um, so if you take a look at this, this, uh, under the group section, there is the default and... This is basically the default group. You can change this to um, guest or something. So this is the guest group. And this one, it says default true. So if someone comes into your server, 
uh, by default, they will become the guest. Uh, they will become the guest group, I guess you could call it. And the builder is the uh, the default is set to false. Um, everything except this one will be set to false. You can't have two groups be set to the uh be set true at the same time. So you, you have to look out for that, um, or you will get some uh errors. So now you have the permissions. Um, basically, you edit your per permission nodes right here, and inheritance is basically um what permission nodes you have and the info um for prefixes just changes the color of your name and builds build is just um whether this person can build on the server and the suffix is uh may change it makes changes to the colors also um so yeah, that's basically all you need to know. And let's go into the users.yml. So, for example, these people, I don't know. So, I might I might want to change this to my name. So, I am Liao. Okay, so this is my name. And maybe you have a person on our server named Anvenom. Maybe. Um, I doubt he'll ever join my server, but... Um, we can put different people, or I want to be the the owner, and I want this person to be the admin. So you can set these uh, groups. So this person, this is the ID. This is you basically don't have to worry about these two. You just make changes to the group, and this person, uh, Rachel Chicken, will be in admin group so by when he, uh, she joins the server um, she will be in the admin group so this is basically how you set up your permission system and uh, when you get started with your server you might want to consider this um, so people will have different groups and give them different permissions so I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I will have more plugin videos coming very soon, so stay tuned and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.